man. Well, it's been a while. How about we make something? So the downside is I literally just settled in a few weeks ago. All my crafting supplies, not the supplies, but uh, like all the extra dead weight, extra cardboard, all foam and stuff like that, I just left a few states behind. Um, there was no sense in, in traveling with all that stuff and packing that stuff. Um, so that being said, I'm going to have to scrounge the house and see what supplies I can gather and what we can make with it. So, I'll be right back. I managed to find some goodie box, trash bags, pop tart, a paper towel, and a beer box. So, um, I don't exactly know what to do with this. Um, I guess what we could do is recently I watched Black Magic Craft. Uh, one of his episodes a few weeks back was making some shipping crates um, for tabletop war games. I think he was using it for Frostgrave, however, or his kill team. However, I do also play Warhammer, and uh, I, as you know, have no terrain, nothing that I used to have. So I could use some scattered terrain for my Warhammer games. So maybe that's what I'll tackle. We'll take some of these used empty boxes and turn them into shipping crates. So let's give it a shot and see what we can do. All right, so we're gonna use this corrugation within here to make our walls. So let's go ahead and just cut these uh, cut these ends off. All right, so we got our box. It's been glued on both ends uh, with clear glue, and then I just have it taped down so it holds nice and tight, and that glue stays and it has time to bond while we're still playing with it. Um, so back to our cardboard corrugation. Now you can see that. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got a small corrugation in it. What we're going to do is we're going to take and slowly, slowly start peeling this outer piece off. And that's going to give us this nice, hard, thick corrugation. Um, so I'm going to make sure I peel mine nice and slow so we don't rip it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this. And of course, I didn't listen to my own advice. I'm gonna see how it leaves this paper right here. And you, could, you have to go back and break and clean up all this stuff. This one was even worse. So, we're gonna apply a little water and see if we can get this off a little more gentle. Um, See if it'll kind of loosen this glue up just a little bit, and then maybe it'll just let us peel it off a little easier than, than that was. So kudos to this box for being so well built. Ah, listen to your own advice, PJ. Go slow. All right, so let's sprinkle some water. And let it sit and have an awesome sidekick. Slow. Slow. And just like Jeremy's, I'm not going to bother with the bottom. Um, 
maybe I'll maybe I'll put that on the side just so I, I don't know it just bothers me that there'd be a window down there um, but I'm only gonna cover three three sides I'm gonna leave the ends blank that way I can put doors on them um, so let's go ahead and stencil this out first I'm gonna take this and this line them up perfectly and then glue these together and then we're gonna cut it out strips and on them just long enough to cover just the corrugation. So I'm gonna put it here and here all the way around except for the fronts and the bottom. So what I'm gonna do from here is we're using the hot glue. I'm gonna these are my stencils. So I'm gonna take this and start on one side, and then I'm gonna run a bead of glue um, all the way down. But I'm not gonna start on the top because the top overlaps the sides, right? So we're going to start on the sides and we're going to bring it all the way up. So we're going to cover that entire top, right? I'm not going to use a lot of hot glue because we don't want it to spill out everywhere. I'm just going to run a nice thin bead just to get it stuck, right? seams right here um, and that tape because when you paint that tape you're still gonna see that regardless um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use that pop-tart box that I had and we're gonna place it down on here and trace this out a stencil around it and then cut it See? It covers up all my all my pieces, parts. So what I want to do is put some uh, hot glue around the border, around those pieces, and then just a little bit of light in there. Don't take too long. You know how hot glue. Dries quickly. All right, so I managed to find some bamboo skewers. So that's what we're going to use um, on our thing. If you really came down to it, you could even use the spaghetti that came with it. No, um, not cooked, of course. Uh, but that, that'd work. So we're gonna go ahead and space ours out just like in the picture. See what we can do. After 
actually looking at that a little better. Get this out the way. Um, and I think I'm going to use these little glass beads that I got from the Dollar Tree. And instead of trying to wait for glue, I'm going to just dab some super glue right here. Now, in the picture, one goes this way. Let's go a little higher. One goes this way, this way, and then one goes this way, and that way. So I painted it to it to basically like a new state, like if it just came off the uh, the assembly line, because I want to put some logos on it, and then we're gonna weather it after that. to actually put on some like little stickers like the little transportation stickers that they use um, so if I could find something sticky that would be better like a sticker that way it stays shiny and stuff but I might just go ahead and paint them on anyway so let's go get some I don't know let's, let's do some yellow paint for the stickers so I also did not have the correct shade of yellow paint I have a very very, very, I don't know, sunshine kind of paint. It's really not the same. Um, so, we're going to go with white. Citadel Agrax Earth Shade, um, basically to go ahead and wash it, but I don't want to do a complete wash. Um, the place where I added all the the deep pockets of rust, I'm gonna pull up the the uh, the wash very uh, very thick because I want that to be pretty dark and I want it to kind of slowly blend with the uh, the surroundings. So I'm gonna have those deep pockets very very dark <laughs> 